Okay guys, the next step in redox reaction balancing has to do with the, not the simple redox with just atoms and ions and simple molecules, but with more complicated molecules. And the first thing we need to do is deal with oxidation numbers. This is 12C through 12G. There's lots of practice problems, but the more you do, the easier this will be. You must know the oxidation number rules and apply them in order. So let's see how you apply these rules in order. Okay? Mm, let's see. So there are the rules. I know it looks bad, but it's not so bad. Okay. Any element by itself has an oxidation number equal to zero. So the Fe, even the P4, because the P is just by itself. There just happens to be four of them. Or O2 compared to O3. All of these guys have an oxidation number equal to zero. And I like drawing my oxidation numbers with a circle around them and I'll show you why later. Okay? My hand's a little swollen from trying to be like Mickey Mouse. See? <laughs> but I guess we gotta stop that. I can't even write on this. So, let's keep going. Rule number two says monoatomic or monatomic ions. One atom ions have an oxidation number equal to the charge of the ion. Here's an example. Fe plus three Notice that it has the charge, so the oxidation number is the same as the charge. Oxygen is a minus 2. Fluorine is a minus 1. Okay? Rule number 3 is similar to uh, rule number 2 in that a group 1A, group 2A, or group 3A metal, they will form ions with the oxidation number of plus 1 for the group 1As, plus 2 for the group 2As, and plus three for the group three A's. Sort of a corollary, just letting you know that these guys, whenever they're in compounds, will always make plus one, plus two, plus three ions. Fluorine in a compound has an oxidation number of minus one. So, HF, the fluorine is a minus one because it's in a compound. In BAF2, there's two fluorines, each of which that's an oxidation number of minus one. That's how we write that in as a minus one. What about this? Are the fluorines a minus one in F2? No. Why? Because any element by itself has an oxidation number of zero. So this is zero. That's why we're applying in order. Okay. Rule number five, hydrogen in compounds likes to be a plus one. Plus one, good. So that's why if the F is a minus one, the H is gonna be a plus one. Why in water, hydrogen, each of them is a plus one. And in this hydrogen, because it's all by itself, it has to be a zero. We'll talk more about why that has to be on number seven. Okay, there are exceptions to the hydrogen as plus one rule, and that is if you apply the rules in order, it's obvious. If you have a metal hydride that includes group 1A, 2A, or 3A metal, those guys will always want to be a plus one first. And if they're involved with a plus one, and rule three applies first for that, then rule five makes the H a minus one. Another way to remember this is the cation always comes first and it's positively charged, so the anion would come second and it's negatively charged. But we hardly ever deal with exceptions, so while you may see that on your homework problems, there's a real good chance you won't see it on your quizzes. Okay, rule number six. Oxygen in compounds has an oxidation number equal to minus two. That's why with water, if each of these hydrogens is a plus two, and this one oxygen, I'm sorry, is a plus one, 
minus 1 oxygen is a minus 2. That adds up to 0, and water has 0 charge. Oxygen by itself is a 0, but whenever sodium is a plus 1, and there's two of them, not surprising that the oxygen is a minus 2. Okay, now there are some funky exceptions. Peroxides, like hydrogen peroxide, if each of the hydrogens is a plus 1, well, 5 takes precedence, then each of these oxygens has to be a minus 1 to even out the charge. That's why this is a peroxide ion. And there are also superoxides in which the oxygen oxidation number is actually a minus 1 half because a group 1A cation has to be a plus 1. But we're not going to deal with superoxides or peroxides very much at all, just like we're not going to deal with metal hydrides very much at all. And then maybe the most important final rule is simple. The sum of all the oxidation numbers in a compound must equal the overall charge on the compound. Real simple. That's why water adds up to zero. And why the hydrogen, if it's a plus one, means the oxygen has to be a minus two. Because it has to add up to zero. Alright? So being able to apply these rules in order allows you to do any one of these. They're all pretty simple and straightforward. If you know the rules, you can go through and do it quick. So you see them all. Why don't you hit pause, see if you can get the right answer, and come back. Okay, pause, and you're back. So what do we got here? Well, start applying the rules in order. Is this an element all by itself? No. So rule one's out. Are there any monoatomic ions here? Nope. Okay, is this a group 1A, 2A, or 3A metal? Nope. Is there fluorine? Nope. Hydrogen in compounds has an oxidation number of plus 1. So what about this nitrogen? Well, what's the total charge on NH3? You saw it. It's 0, right? So algebra simply says, what plus 3 equals 0. It's a minus 3. Right? If you have to do the algebra, write out the algebra. Like, for instance, for this one. You know, hydrogen, is, that plus 1 doesn't mean anything about having to do with the hydrogens. That's the charge on the whole species. So algebraically, this problem, ammonium ion, looks like this. One nitrogen plus three hy uh, I'm sorry, four hydrogens equals plus one, right? The hydrogens are plus ones. So we're going to change this hydrogen into a plus one. So what? Plus four is equal to plus one? Three. Only not three, negative three. Negative three plus four is equal to one, right? Four minus three is equal to one. So each of these hydrogens is a plus one. This nitrogen is a minus three, and that's how it all adds up to plus one. Okay? How about this compound? Hydrogen is always a plus one in its compounds. Oxygen is always a minus two in its compounds. So what does this add up to? Well, that adds up to plus 1. That adds up to x. I don't know. And this adds up to 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. And what's the total charge on this HNO3? Well, it's 0. You don't see any charge up there like you see a plus 1 charge on the ion. So what does this add up to? x minus 5 is equal to 0. Right? So x has to be equal to plus 5. So check it out. We've got nitrogens that are minus 3s in these two compounds. We've got a nitrogen that is a plus 5 in this compound. And what's the oxidation number of N2? It's an element all by itself, so nitrogen is 0. You see the different range that nitrogen can be? All over the place. All right? 
oxidation number of S8 element all by itself, zero. That's the sulfur that you have on a match. Plus one, plus sulfur. Each oxygen is a minus two, so that means minus eight is equal to minus one overall charge on the bisulfate ion, HSO4 minus one. So isn't that the same as saying sulfur minus seven is equal to minus one? What minus seven is equal to minus one? Isn't that plus six? Sure. Six minus seven is equal to negative one. So the sulfur in this case is a plus six. Here, let's do this uh, over here. Give us a little space. SO2. Each oxygen is a minus two, right? But there's two of them. So to get this all equal to zero, since all of this is a minus four, and we have equal to zero, doesn't this have to be a plus four? Sure. Sulfur is a plus four. Plus four, plus six, zero. How about this? Uh, Na2S. What's well, sulfur? Well, sodium is a plus one. It's an ionic compound. So sulfur has to be a minus two. I'm not surprised by sulfur being a minus two. It's in group 6A. So look at that. Plus four, plus six, zero, minus two. That's why you have to be able to do the oxidation numbers. <coughs> okay. You go through the algebra if required. I'll tell you right now, the carbon is equal to zero here. The carbon is equal to plus four here. And the carbon is equal to minus four here. See if you can get those. That's where you need to be. If you know the steps in order, you can get through these pretty fast. And you need to be able to go through them fast because you'll use these to balance. Good luck. Practice up.